Testing, testing, testing. But. It's recording. Someone talk. But. But. La, 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 but. But, but. Cool. I don't even know what to call this thing. Hey guys, um, this is an impromptu video shoot that we just decided to do. I think we're just gonna title it Lion Roars, but Hi. with the beautiful Morgan Hi. and the adorable Mally. This Hi. is Thomas O'Malley. Oh, we're gonna have the amazing Peter. Anyway, so he's gonna be asking us questions just so you get to know a little bit more about me and Morgan, or Morgan and I if I'm using proper grammar. All right, so <laughs> question so numero uno. Uh, each of you tell me the best three things about you. But here's a twist, you guys for her, she Oh, that's easy then. Oh, the she is extraordinarily friendly and welcoming. Is that count as one or two? I'm gonna put that one. one. <laughs> she is gorgeous. Freaking look at her. I'm gonna zoom in. No. And she is extraordinarily talented. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Monica is amazingly determined. Like this girl has big dreams and even bigger determination to make them possible and make them true and I think that she's gonna go amazing <laughs> full places in life. Mia, stop ruining this! Even though I know you're dealing with a lot of demons in your life, you always put a smile on your face and you always are looking at the best in people and that's just awesome. Mm, I'm gonna put that vitamin C song that put a smile on your face. Makes the world the better. Question number two. Who is your worst teacher and why? I hate to bring you up. But you're probably not even watching because you hated me, right? Yeah. Her name was Miss Mancia, and she had it out for me. Like, she hated me. And she was a grammar teacher, and I would write and stuff, and she would just be like, that's not right. You don't know how to do that. Um. Uh, Miss Muncia, I love you, girl, but like you don't love me. We hate each other. Okay. Wait, why would you love? See, this is what I mean, though. Like you always see the best in people, even though somebody hates you. You're like, I love you. I mean, but like, no. I don't know why you never liked me. What's, what's your what's, your, what's worst your worst teacher? Um, probably freshman year, Mr. Keenan, who I nicknamed Mr. Meenan. I don't it's beautiful. <laughs> I don't exactly remember what happened. There was something where I was like taking a test and he like he did something that was like really really rude and out of line and it got to the point where my parents got involved in everything and it was something having to do with the test and my parents did had have, have to bring up that you know she does have a learning disability and he's like, "Well, if she has a learning disability, then we should just throw her in the special ed program." And my parents flipped out, but he was just the cruelest and it was an English teacher. Why <laughs> English? English teachers, please. <laughs> Why are you so mean? We're just trying to learn English. We're Tana? such a Tex Mex. Oh, okay, no, I no, love no. you. Well, what was your favorite teacher and why? I, this one, I made a t-shirt of you, and you know it, because every year I go back, except for this year, because I'm not going to make it, but I go on your birthday, Mr. Conway, a senior year of high school. Oh, it was okay. like one of those dual enrollment thingies, Bi biology or some sort of chemistry or something scientific. Um, <laughs> There's a science class. There was a final, and he was amazing throughout the entire like school thingy, but there was a final, and I didn't study because it was party. No, well then I was just I was just lazy and I was nervous because I was like I'm gonna fail this and if I fail this I didn't take it seriously that's gonna go to my college I'm gonna cry and so I cheated and I got caught and he and but it wasn't I wasn't the only one that cheated I just kind of took the heat for everybody you know who you are so like mm. Yeah, I uh, instead of like every a little couple people getting in trouble, I was like, you know what? It was all me. I was the one that did it. I distributed all the cheat sheets and stuff. So like, oh my god, um, I'm sorry. And I know that's like an offense, and I can get like kicked out of the program, and it can hurt my GPA or whatever. Um, but sorry. And like, I cried to him, and he was just he gave me a huge hug, and he was he was a great teacher, best teacher. What? I have two actually. I have my kindergarten teacher, who I am still friends with, Miss Mejia. And she was absolutely amazing. And when I started kindergarten, like even back then, I was bullied a lot because I feel like nowadays it's really cool to be a geek or something, you know? It wasn't back then. And for people who liked really geeky stuff like myself, like I got teased every single day constantly for like liking nah. Pokemon. That was a really, really hard time. And it was like, I never really got to sit with anybody at lunch. So she would always call me in and we'd always like hang out. And even afterwards, mm -hmm. like, I was in the same school up till fifth grade and I was constantly going and seeing her. So she was just an amazing teacher and she's still my friend to this day. There was also a college teacher that me and my 
husband over here, Peter, went I and am. saw. <laughs> and she was our child development teacher. <sighs> Lori. I forget her last name. We just called she her by her first name. Yeah, we always just called her Lori. So it was just like, it was like, hey, Lori, what's up? And she was our child development teacher. And it was it was interesting because she knew she we were a couple. And she was constantly trying to help us be a better couple. And be like, okay. And she pick she'd pick on us all the time. And she'd be like, okay, well, if your kids do this, what are you going to do? And she helped us, like, really handle the situations better. That's really cool. Bye. Oh, sorry. So, okay. She's the violent one, so let's just, let's just, <laughs> like, glass and just, like, ow. Favorite toy growing up? Oh, Favorite uh, toy? That actually was a Lion Tail's question, was what was my favorite toy when I was Ooh, a kid. so this is like a mini lion toy. Yeah, thing. so my favorite, and it, I was a baby, was, uh, it was a glow worm. Do you remember glow worms? Little, like, plushy, but, like, the face was plastic, and you would squeeze on his, like, little stomach, and he would glow, <laughs> and he would just lay there. <laughs> Like this and glow. No, I mean I feel like I've heard of it, and I feel like if I saw it, that I would recognize it's it. Right but here. I... Uh, mine would probably have to be Charlie Horse, which was. <laughs> oh, wow, I've never heard the story. Before. <laughs> sad though. It's not like we lost the footage five minutes ago and had to re say this question. <laughs> never heard that your answer before though about Charlie Horse. That you you lost when you moved. Charlie Horse. Oh, we recorded and it just stopped recording. So right at the question. Yeah. So yeah. she knows this, but yeah, yeah. Charlie Horse is my little stuffed horse, my little horse, and I had it ever since I was a baby, and then when I was like 12 years old and I moved, it was like, oh, I unpacked all my stuff, and where's Charlie Horse? And I can't find him, so, um. He galloped away. I have children's stuff too. Do animals. not mistake it for the Charlie Horse of the legs and thighs, because when <laughs> she first mentioned it to me, I was like, It was oh like, Charlie God, Horse, my leg? Was, that was your. My leg! My leg! My leg. <laughs> Which Next question. Which historical figure would you like to be and why? Historical figure? Yeah. Would you like to be? Does it Maybe anybody. Elvis <laughs> Presley, for sure. Yeah. Except I don't want to die like he did. But if I did die <laughs> like he did, it would be, I, I'm always on the toilet anyway, so like, makes sense. I think he had an interesting life. Like, despite, I mean, he was a genius, a lyrical genius. He was a nice dude, despite what, um, like, you know. Uh, and sure, he had like an affair or two, but like, who does it? No, not you. <laughs> I was about to say, I just got no, married and I don't mind no. on that, what? I, I'm a huge music buff, so I just, his music is freaking gorgeous. Nanny loves him. Yeah. I don't, I don't really have one. Elvis, or, uh, oh, Elvis, I, 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 I would say Marilyn Monroe, but I don't know a lot about Marilyn Monroe or like who she was as a poor person. I, I had a few pictures where people were like, you look like Monroe in this picture. And I was like, oh. Okay. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Oh, of course you'd sing that. <laughs> JFK right. person. What would you do if you were invisible for a day? I would pants people. Oh my god. No, I totally wouldn't. I got Oh my this. god. And it wasn't nice. This is what I would do, and this is a serious one. I would go to um, pretty much any buffet, and I would just like eat stuff food. food. Yeah. That, that, I mean, it's yeah. real. Like, I would do that. So, I, I, I would have a more, uh, what, what would you say, a uh, delinquent kind of approach to things, and um, I, I would probably steal some money. Oh my goodness! <laughs> See, I need money to go to Disney World, okay? Like, I, you can sneak into Disney World. <laughs> See, but then I can't, then I can't get on a ride or anything, yes, because they, they have to take that into account, because then somebody's gonna come in and sit on me. I would poke them. This no, ride is haunted! The Matterhorn's haunted! Go away! Th that's a good one, though. I would yeah, definitely I would sneak, sneak into, into Disney World. World. Next question. A oh, really okay. heavy one. Okay. Oh! What's one choice in your life you really regret? Nanny, basically. My nanny's ashes are in here. And it was, she passed away right when I moved out for the first time to go to college. And I told her that I would call her, but I got so caught up with everything and moving and unpacking that it literally was like three weeks later ish, maybe it was two weeks later that she passed away and I had not called her at all. So I, other than her sending a text message to me, um, I really regret not calling her and telling her how everything was going and how excited I was and how happy I was. Just getting that like last phone call in. So it's like, I, re I regret that. And if I could go back, I'd probably, <laughs> no, that's a, yeah. I'd probably call her. Um, what is your, uh, what's three questions you wanna ask your pets and why? Um, it would be to my furry child animal thing called Evie. <laughs> I ask her why she's such a diva, uh, why she doesn't like the food that I provide her, why she's so spoiled. What about my neck she likes? Because I wake up a lot and she's always on my neck. 
Then was... maybe it's just warm there. It's just like a nice little. I have warmer like places. Those... Warmer places, Verna. <laughs> oh my God, you're cuddle places. in it. Places. But like this, this is the I'm like exposed. Like find <laughs> a better crevice, Evie. I can't breathe. Are you a cat, Evie? Were you yeah. a cat in your previous life? Cause you purr. Like dogs don't purr. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was weird. I was there when she purred that way. Why did she purr? I would uh, ask Thomas why he has to cry before he goes to the bathroom. Like he runs around the house just going meow, 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 meow. Sometimes and pooping hurts. I and then he, when he gets into the litter box and he comes out, he like zooms out. And you're like, what just happened in there? And he's like, are your poops really that bad that you have to like run away that fast? Sometimes, you know, have you guys ever had a poop where it like, you know, going into sitting down on that toilet, on that porcelain throne, you know like, oh man, it's gonna hurt. Like when you sit down, like you don't even have to sit fully. Like it already comes out and you know it's gonna hurt. I have those. <laughs> no, they hurt. I guess my second would be like, are you happy? You know, like, I don't care if you're happy. I mean, I mean, like, I know I provide a good home for you. I know you happy, okay? <laughs> because like, I work hard so that you have a good life. Yeah, but, next question. What's your favorite smell in the world? Favorite smell? Hot Cheetos. Favorite, favorite Hot Cheetos smell. with lime. Again with this? I love Hot Cheetos. And pickles, like you ever have a pickle Thank and you, you just, yes. It's like, or the ones that you had, we had pickles earlier today. I'd like wrap hot Cheetos in it and then eat it. I like mean, a I sandwich. guess that's not completely bad. That's so good. At least you don't like put it in peanut butter or something. <laughs> All right, what's your favorite time of day? <gasps> Twilight. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> there are two kinds of people. In this one, world. one who thinks before they speak and those that don't. <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> Did you not think? What is the best piece of advice you've ever received? And I I mentioned it, I think on Twitter too. Um, if you're gonna chase your dreams, chase them while helping other people like achieve theirs. Oh, I like so, that. So yeah, that was from my mom, my dad, uh, and my sister too. So like always to just, I mean, help other people to get where they wanna go too. Thank you, mom and dad. Thank you, mom and dad. All right, anyway, you guys, thank you so much <laughs> for watching this video. Thank you, Morgan. Actually, you thank Morgan for everything because it's our background. Yeah, like we just we she hijacked my background. I did. I took over her <laughs> studio here. But thank you guys. We will see you guys in the next video. Don't like and love here. Keep watching Monica. Keep watching she's Monica. amazing. Bye. Bye.